right, so uh, the big news came out of the market. I mean, we know we've been dealing with this hyper volatile market. Uh, the market topped uh, one of the first trading days of the year, and we've been experiencing some downside action since. And we waited to do this one Wednesday because uh, we had a big Fed, Fed meeting, so we wanted to see what the outcome of that was. And we heard, you know, it was pretty expected uh, that the Fed is going to begin raising rates in March. They're going to pull the plug on their asset purchases. So, uh, you know, that's ne never really good for equity markets in the very near term. Um, so, so we did get that action. Well, we see rates climbing and things like that. So we're kind of in this bear market still. Uh, and I wanted to point out kind of the similarities we're seeing between now and uh, the 2020 sell off. I don't think we're going to crash. I'm not saying that. But, uh, you know, after Monday, we had a huge reversal Monday and we started to get, get the market bid up again today. And then with the Fed, we sold off once again. So I wanted to highlight uh, kind of the action we saw in this 2020 down move. Uh, and that, that's kind of the bear market activity that, you know, we've been seeing lately where, you know, we have that initial sell off stocks get, you know, oversold to the downside. And then we get these bear market bounces, which are vicious bounces where we test previous resistance levels and uh, previous support levels, which is now turned to resistance like here, exhibit A, and then we continue that down move. Um, and that's just what we've begun to see in this market. Uh, we look at today, that was kind of confirmation of my thesis that we are in this bear market. Uh, you know, we had the huge turnaround day Monday. A lot of people were calling for a bottom. We get bid up and we retest the 200 day simple moving average in the S&P, which is huge, huge support and we sell off from there. So uh, from here, it's, you know, I expect to see whipsaw action. It gets very difficult on the day to day and you gotta really choose your spots very carefully. You gotta be very in tune with market levels. Uh, I can't say that enough. The more in tune you are with the market levels, the better off you're gonna be. And uh, you know, you kinda take these things day by day. A lot of opportunity out there, but there's also a lot of risk and a lot of volatility. So uh, yeah, just kinda take it day by day and until we see some sustained upside action, uh, I think we're in this kind of sustained bear market until, until, until further notice.